trailer. You won a race. First time since February. Everybody kept Stay talking up. about it. What, what's it What's it feel like to get it done here? And, it, and obviously uh, putting it on a lamb known as the goat, Kyle Larson. It was, uh, it was pretty cool until I got undressed. And now I want another one. No, it's over already. On yeah. to the next. That's pretty much, yeah. I mean, it's just, you know, it's a game, man. We, uh... We got a race again Thursday, and uh, you gotta keep, you gotta go into them all hungry. It seems like if you go into it feeling content, then that's where you're at. You're just gonna be content, and I'm not content at all with our season yet. Um, and truth, truth be told, we could probably win out, and I still wouldn't be content just because I know how sloppy it was getting to this point. So um, right. it does feel good to, to finally get over that mountain that seemed like was tearing us down every week. But you know, like I said, it's just still hungry, still got more races to win. So just on to the next one. Well, and, and unfortunately, you know, you had Williams Grove, you had a strong run, and then motor issues there. It looked like uh, you've had strong runs all year for people to even think you've only had one. I guess that's what you're talking about. You already feel probably like you're old six or seven. You know, yeah. this is just getting one back, time to make up the others. Pretty much, yeah, and it's just, you know, even just having good runs, like you just had a lot of, even even minus the wins that have been taken away, it's just we've had a lot of good runs that, you know, slipped through our fingers, whether it's something I did or, you know, mechanical failure or shit, you know, just shit we can't control. And um, you just got to put all that on your back, man, and have like a little bit of a chip on your shoulder and, uh, you know, try to try to keep digging and, and keep winning. And that's kind of what led us to this point, man. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's a pretty big win for us. And I love I love racing at Coke Buzz. It's cool to get another win here um, at 26 grand and beating Kyle. So it's just uh, it's been, it's been, a good, been a good night. Well, and winning, you know, r- certain races matter more than others. It does seem like all stars obviously matters. A uh, big race at Port Royal or something, and then you know, obviously, World of Outlaws is one of the pinnacle races that everybody wants to win. Where does High Limit slate in this? Is it is it is it like is World of Outlaw like A and this is B plus or something like? Yeah, I'd say this, this and the All Star stuff is probably about on the same level. This this might be a little higher just because it pays better. And it's got um, Larson and these boys, you know. I mean, yeah, yeah, you got a you know you come to a High Limit show and you know you're you're racing really good race cars, and um, but it's the same you know it's the same across the board. It's like about anywhere you go now, or at least feels like with the schedule we've kind of picked out i mean you go to a local you go to a local pennsylvania show and you still got to beat freddie and and right. uh you know brent and dietrich and lance a lot and so it, it's tough man i feel like the schedule we put together is pretty high intensity um i feel like we've put ourselves in a position to just try and get better overall as a race team no matter the circumstances whether you got to come from the front or the back or the middle of the pack um and i feel like we are a little bit better as a race team because of it you know just having to be on kill every time you hit the racetrack there's no no time off it seems like it's um just all tough man it's like you get i say it all the time like you get going up and down a road and you you get it's really easy to get down on yourself and then it's really freaking hard to get back you know to, to get Optimism. back to being confident yeah so it's good man i feel like we got a little bit of mojo back you know i feel like we hopefully it starts a little bit of a roll or we can get on what is what is the jump for someone in your position you were saying that the high limits with the all-star level is when you go to that outlaw level is it really a bigger leap than some people think as far uh, yeah. as competition oh yeah for sure i mean you got the best crew chiefs the best drivers um the best equipment you know the, the, the best owners the guys even to a high limit level it's still that I, big of a jump yeah i mean don't get me wrong you got guys like that on every level you got Right. It just seems like there's more of them. A depth. When you go outlaw racing. And then all the cars that were really good in the high limit also go to them outlaw shows. Right. And then all the good cars from the all-stars also go. So it's just, it's like a conglomerate of all of them, it feels like, that just all pull into one and to make the world of outlaws. And, well, you're a short track guy, I think, from my, my belief. Actually, I was just joking with some people. I was like, I was talking with Anton Hernandez. The last time I was here was when he ran a gray's auto car and cj leary won and you actually won a race saver 305 race that night yeah you're a short track guy you're now going to knoxville uh you just mentioned thursday you're back in the seat i believe in that guy's car that i don't even know what to call him uh but it, Pop. it pops yes there you go dad as some people call him dad uh and then obviously you have capitani i believe you're gonna run oscaloosa with dad over there too how is it going to Knoxville? Is that just a whole nother ball of wax? Can you not really prepare for what that track throws at you? Yeah, I mean, it's just different. You know, we, it's, it kind of sucks. I'm just, unfortunate we haven't gotten to go there yet this year. It's the first time we're going to go there is for 360 Nationals on Thursday. But it's just a different style, man. You know, you just uh, – takes a little bit different package to get around that place. takes a little bit different mindset, driving style. But, you know, I mean, we've the two years I've been there with 13 car, you know, we put it in show around 11th and 12th, I think. So, um, just got to get better. You know what I mean? Just get better late in the night. It seems like we always pass a shitload of cars in the first half of the feature, and then 
kind of stay where we're at or fall back a little bit in the second half. So just, you know, just getting a little bit more experience there. We've got a couple couple years of Knox and Ashland under our belt. Um, going back in there with a little bit more confidence and a, a little bit more speed, I feel like, on half mile stuff. So, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, goal this year is pick off top five Knoxville Nationals and, and win a prelim night. Have so. you done the 360 Nationals in the past? No, nah, never. This will be the first time. And do you think that'll help going in? Because it's really hard. You know, qualifying laps so important in, in Knoxville. And if you don't have, you know, repetition mindset on that track, I think 360s, I guess it's what you are thinking, more laps on that track. Yeah, you know, in years past, we've gone and done, you know, you do the All Star Show and then you do, you know, Captain Class, or you do the Iron Man 55 and then Captain and all that stuff. So. Um, with no us not going to the All Star Show this year, it's just nice to be able to get some laps before you head into the Capitani and, and not in the Nationals. Um, the more laps you can have around that place, the better. So it just uh, I think it'll be good for all of us. And then what are you doing to wrap the year up after Knoxville? Some people think it's downhill, but actually PA and everything starts kicking up some races I and say everything. All the big PA shows seem to be coming up right after that. So yeah, I mean we'll, we'll you know we'll bounce around. I mean kind of do our normal deal. You know, pick and choose. We go to all the bigger shows. Hey, you know, at that given time, and uh, just kind of depends where our, our stuff's at. You know, it seems like everyone's been fighting motor problems. It's just hard to get parts now, so you, you, you get one down, and it's just hard to get back from that. So, you know, we should have, uh, HP should have us a couple motors back here soon. Um, and if all that goes as planned, we'll, uh, like I said, we'll just be bouncing around try to run all the big money stuff. And one of these years, you might get enough sponsors so that the West Coast crowds can see you in person. I think tracks like Skagit and Chico, these are these are your wheelhouses, you know? Yeah, yeah, I mean, unfortunately, you know, I'll get to go around Trophy Cup again, so that'll be cool. Uh, didn't get to do that last year with National Open raining out and just rescheduled for Trophy Cup weekend, so wasn't able to go out there, but yeah, like I said, we'll definitely be doing all the big East Coast stuff, um, get to run Trophy Cup, and just kind of have to see it from there. Okay. Alright. That's it? Thanks, man. Okay. Is that, what is that, a laptop? No, it's my dirty ass suit. Oh, okay. <laughs> I gotta go wash it. Oh. <laughs> this is how we ride. This is how we do.